There's so many different organizations that are affected with mind control that we cannot be misled into believing that it's just one particular group of people or another. We can't even say that this is Democrats or Republicans. No. This has This commission has spoken of a long history of abuse of the human research subject. Although no one mentioned MKUltra today, President Clinton recently apologized for this. My young child and I have been used as non-consensual test subjects. We have been subjected to co-intel pro-like stalking, remote neural monitoring, and electromagnetic torture, resulting in psychological and physical damage. And I won't go into the details of that because I have four pages written in here that is very similar to Connie's testimony. Please do not wait 70 years to investigate this. I ask Dr. Amy Gutman to begin today. There is new work for the Commission for Human Subject Protection on our shores. And please give us a dramatic response, Susan. And please give us a congressional hearing. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Connie Marshall. I'm a former mayoral candidate from Louisville, Kentucky. I have never been involved in any criminal activity. I found a document in my bank account that said, problem with Kentucky government, check federal government paperwork and file before releasing information to anyone. I am an eight-year victim survivor of assaults by directed energy weapons. The torture I've experienced consists of body overheating, body extremely cold, seizures, heart pain, ear aches, itching behind eyes, burning behind eyes, swelling, headaches, involuntary movement of my limbs, exhaustion, speeding and heart racing, hair coming out by the handfuls as if I've had chemotherapy, mind paralysis, being hypnotized or placed in a trance-type state, being tracked by a drone or satellite, controlled dreams, sleep deprivation, V2K, which is voice to skull, projected sound, extreme muscle spasms, and extreme muscle cramps, being made to fall down, blue circles around the pupils of my eyes, and I'm here and you can look at them if you like, low frequency noises in my home, high frequency noises in my home, sexual stimulation, numerous electrical appliances in my home are destroyed, four computers, two fax machines, seven telephones, four CD players, VCR, DVD players, electrical igniter switch on my furnace, washer and dryer, air conditioner, also my car radio, CD player, and engine were destroyed. I am watched in my home 24 hours a day and followed, followed around everywhere I go, though I do not have a criminal history. When I ran for mayor in my town, I was also attacked at debates and forums. My website is www.justiceforallcitizens.com. Thank you. And I would like to leave these flyers with you all as well. I'm Deborah Paulson from Kenosha, Wisconsin. I'm going to refer to a paper from Professor McCoy at the University of Wisconsin on no-touch torture. He talks about a total assault on all senses and sensibilities, auditory, visual, tactile, temporal, temperature, and survival, refined through years of practice. Sensory disorientation relies on a mix of sensory overload and sensory deprivation via banal procedures, isolation, then intense interrogation, heat and cold, light and dark, noise and silence, for a systematic attack on all human stimuli.